Hi, and welcome back to Chuck Tuesday Tips. Uh, we had a couple other requests. People requested they'd like to see me skin a predator. Luckily today, we got in this bobcat. Uh, we're going to do probably three different skinning videos on predators. Um, this first one, I'm going to show you how to skin for life size, what's called a dorsal cut. The next one will probably uh, belly skin one for a rug, and then uh, probably have one on the fleshing and turning things like that. So on a life size, I don't take my body measurements on the outside. I wait till it's skinned and I take them off the skin. If you measure your animal on the outside, for example, let's just do this just for fun. Okay, we measure it to the base of the tail. It's uh, 28 inches. If I ordered a mannequin that was 28 inches, it would automatically be too big because if this is 28 on the outside the actual body of the cat is probably 26 and a half to 27 so that's a common mistake guys make they end up with a mannequin too big right off the bat so however the head measurements I do take with the skin on we've already done that so on our dorsal cut we're gonna line this all up and try and get our dorsal straight straight and I like to open them completely up because I'm not afraid to sew. So I'm going to start right at the base of the neck and head junction, just like uh, you would on a deer head. And I'm going to make my first cut. This is going to be straight down the back, keeping tension on the hide. I'm going to go all the way to the base of the tail and that's my first cut and see as you can see you can start just opening it up from there bobcats are sweet because they clean they skin so cleanly so easily but anyway now the next cuts we're going to make we're going to make four of them that's to get the feet out and I'm going to come here now I like to start all the way at the toe and make my cut. And I'm just going to make a cut down here. Starting in the toe, my uh, unfortunately the tip of my knife got busted off so I'm having a hard time with this knife um, starting my cuts because you need that tip on there to get it to get it in. But these Vectronox knife are just the greatest invention since the napkin as far as skinning. So we'll make that one cut. Come over to the front paw. Gonna do the same thing. Just trying to decide if I want to do it on the dew claw side or the other side. Thinking I'm gonna go on this side. Sorry, camera guy. See how I take my knife, get that tip in there to start the cut, and I just come straight up to the wrist. We do that on all four. And we also split the tail. I like to split the tails on mine and get them salted. I'm not afraid to sew them up. Some guys like to tube them and hope that the tanning solution gets down in there. But uh, I'm not afraid to sew. So I'd rather open it up, make sure the salt gets in there. We don't have any uh, slippage on our tail. In fact, I think I'll just do that right now while the camera's on here. Come in at my base, keep tension on it. Go all the way. There, that's opened up. Got this one. This one, just need to do this one, and then we can go ahead and skin the cat. I drive my poor Ollie crazy moving around on him, he tries to follow me around. Okay, hold still. You got a good shot of that? Got it in there. 
There we go. There, there's all our cuts necessary. Now that all the cuts are made, we can just go ahead and work on getting our body out. So maybe I'll just do that for the second time. And we'll finish this out on another shot. Anyway, hope this uh, is helpful a little bit, and we'll see you next time on Chuck's Tuesday Tips.